and a partner of the OVC. First possession for Little Rock results in a turnover. Tennessee Tech with a clear lane to the rim and in for Malia Owen. She was our player to watch, Patrick. And call it a hallmark of Coach Foley's tenure going back to his days at Arkansas Tech. Gotta hurry, shot clock is at one as it goes high off the glass and in, bailed out by the bank. Tough. Now Owens, long three, she got it to go. And Owens, first. First leading all scorers with 18. That pass underneath goes to Owens, who gets the layup on the C Tech. Now Owens at the top of the key, and she buries it. The threes are falling for the Golden Eagles, and they're back to a four point advantage. And I believe that's the first offense. Doric season with the Golden Eagles. They were OVC tournament champions, ended a 23 year NCAA tournament drought. Deep three by her preseason player of the year, Malia. Zenon. She's certainly off to the races this season. See, and that's what it's all about. You have your, your growth and you, as a student athlete, you're already going through uh, so much. What a big shot there by Owens, her second. Free throw won't fall, so she stays at 11 points. Halfway through the second quarter. Cats up 29-22, shots up for Tech. Sometimes you get... Malia Owens just inside the three-point line, sinks one. I know she wanted that one bad to really get this team. Stretch that lead back out to nine points off a layup by Anaya Russell. Her 10th point of the day brings her to double figures. How about one for Malia Owens? Three more points. Team a two-point win over Boston College on a last-second shot just like that. She can drive to the basket. Just Put her head down and just go just like that with Malia Owens just continues to. First year assistant coach for the Wildcats. This Miss Kentucky basketball as well. Owens rattles in for the Golden Eagle. Cats with the advantage. They're going to get it done here in Lexington as the Wildcats move to four and five overall. Tag with the last second shot behind and here come from behind victory had seven of her 11 points in the second half and picking up right where she left off with seven first half points versus Stetson Tennessee Tech gets the lead back to double digits and that's just a great job of Walker continuously working her defensive player putting position to be able to get the offensive rebound in the final 30 second timeout and all of a sudden Tennessee Tech has to lead balloon back to 12. Anna Walker has taken over in this for the guilty party. She is the freshman 6'4 from Jefferson City, Missouri. And you can see Coach Pinchin not happy with that call. Trying to plead with the refs. Carter getting in the mix. And the heady play by Grimes, passing it back out to Sullivan. Two threes for Sullivan. There's a look at Owens. Well, the positive thing for both teams is they are calling it on both sides. So both teams need to adjust to the way the refs are calling the game now. Owens, step back. Open triple, can't do that for Ball State's defense. Relentless defense is on both sides. This is game one. You've got field trip day, so a bunch of screaming kids. And Owens ties things up with her second tray. She broke the single season to try and set the feet. Rouch beats Owens. Here's Owens. Sets down her third triple. 